So here we go. So everybody knows I'm not just bending it to make it look like it's deeper. That's where we're at. On the grass height back here. You can see I'm not bending the, the thing down at all. That's the true height of my my nightmare. You can see my, my dog there. She's even buried up in the, you know, it's coming up pretty high on her. Okay, so you can see this patch here. This is probably the thickest part of my lawn or my backyard. I, have, I haven't cut my backyard in, I think, four weeks. Uh, I meant to do this video last week, but it started raining. I've been purposely letting this get this overgrown specifically for this video. Um, you can see I've, right there behind the cub, I have a, a camera set up. And then I'll set my phone up somewhere else to get this as I uh, let these two mowers take swipes at the super tall. Uh, it's all going to be done mulching, no bagging. I don't, I don't think bagging is really a, a big test for any mower. Uh, and yeah, so let's get this set up and see what we can do here. Okay guys, that was one pass. Both mowers are set at the same height. As you can see, when I started with the Toro, I had to run inside and grab the grab the mulch plug out of the uh, garage. The last lawn I did Friday was a bagger. Um, so anyway, so let's walk down the Toro path. And this, like I said, this was a foot tall. They're set, I took pictures. They're set at, uh, I think at the, the C setting for the Toro that's three and a quarter and I set the uh, Cub Cadet in between two of its settings to get them about about the same as close as I can get them but 
you know, you can see clippings in there. I mean, like I said, this is if this was a customer's lawn, this would be a double mow lawn, being that it's a foot tall, and I didn't do a high cut, then a low cut. This is that's the height I cut at. So if I wanted to do it really easy, I would have did a high, then come back down and did a low. So I'll do it at both angles here so we can see the, you know, there's there's clippings there. But all in all, considering I was just coming through a foot tall, and you can see when I was here, I had to keep backing up and going really super slow. Again, the grass is a foot tall. Um, it's only an 8.75. All right, so now let's go down the Cub Cadet lane. The Cub Cadet has a ten and a half on it. And you can see there's a lot of mist cut right here. And I kept backing, if, if you see me, kept backing up. And I was flipping the mower up and getting underneath grass. And I'll show you when we get down there where grass gets caught on this mower if you're cutting too low for the height of the grass, which I should have it set all the way up, which right now it's almost all the way up for for the uh the settings this mower sets at so it's only a quarter of an inch from the top setting uh the toro i can go way higher um so anyway you can see there's a lot of miscut here and that's because the blades kept getting stopped and then the grass gets a little thinner and it does a little better here the grass starts getting thicker again and it it does fine through here and then as i was saying this mower up and show everybody what I was talking about so on the Cub Cadet grass and I'm not going to mess with the blades I'm not going to hand turn them or anything but right here where the you can see that's all the room there is between that deck it, the blades just really you know like a mower should they just cruise right by well here and here, or more here, is really where it happens. The blade, as it's coming around for its cut, always catches right here. There'll be a big clump of grass right here, and it will stop the blades. So if you're using this mower, and all of a sudden, and you can see the belts are still, I don't know if you can tell in there. The belts are in good condition. Um, if you can all of a sudden start getting smoke out of your mower coming out from under the plastic, most likely your blades are stopped up and it's smoking your belt. That's what happens to this one. So, all right, I'm gonna set the camera back up and then we'll do a couple more swipes to get it looking clean. sure when the camera fell it went that way back this way and then back that way again
that. It's kind of weird that there's so much difference in color. So we're walking down, down the Toro swipe. The Toro did not need to go that last swipe. I did anyway, because I wanted to do everything as, as the same as I could. So same number of swipes, same heading, or same setting. And as you can see, I mean, we're here in the, where the grass was a foot tall. And the grass isn't wet, other than just normal grass moisture, I guess. But, I mean, there's no water on my hand or anything. And you can see the, there's no, the clippings uh, are all, all but gone. So now we'll go down the, the Cub Cadet. You can see there's a, a blade issue right here. Right there and right here. I don't know if the blade was starting to get stopped up. I haven't looked underneath it yet. But... We're gonna walk down it and then walk back here. I don't really see anything. There's a couple little tillers of the that crabgrass or whatever sticking up. So yeah, not a. Now one thing I just noticed. This is where I turned around the cub cut out on the original. This on the first swipe. This is what dropped out of the mower deck. Oh, sorry. You know just just some clippings nothing big now this is what dropped out of the Toro deck a lot more dropped out all of a sudden but it didn't leave anything in the swipe so I don't know found that just I just noticed that I don't know exactly what that means but I mean you can see the still the uncut portion there in the middle <clears throat> And it doesn't look too bad. I mean, obviously this is, I would have to mow it more times with the Cub than with the Toro if it were to continue to cut like that. And you can see here, you know, I, I can pick up some clippings. I mean, it's not, it's not a, a bad on the mower. It's not a big, it's not a big deal considering I'm cutting foot tall grass. Let's look underneath here. <clears throat> All right, nothing stopped up, and as you can tell, I, I'm running gator blades. So there's a mulching type blade on there. The same with the Toro; they have they have the Toro mulching blades on there. I guess we could look under the deck. Sorry. I love how that handle. You can put that up in a 90. But yeah, let's look underneath here real quick. And you can see that I didn't clean the deck out on Friday. So I'm cutting with a dirty deck. And look here. This is the, and this isn't from this cut. This is from Friday's cut. That's a sticking point. And that's a sticking point for this mower. And you can see, wow. Well, I don't think I've, I don't, I haven't cleaned this deck since probably Wednesday, actually. So... I'm cutting with a pretty dirty deck, so the airflow is not even as good as it could have been, or should have been. I should go as far to say. All right, so there we go. That's my little comparison of these two guys. I, uh, I'm not going to go into the mowing over here. It's it's going to be the same. I'm just going to. So that's my comparison of those two mowers. It's not a review. I will be doing a review on the Toro later. Um, I've got a few Cub Cadet videos out there. I don't think a review is necessary on that mower. Though if anyone has questions, I used the Cub Cadet the entire last season. Uh, I used it very little at the beginning of this season. And I quit using it once I picked up the Toro. And just so everyone knows, I do have two of those now. I went and bought another one. Actually, that one is the other one that I bought uh, two week before last. So it's that's a new newer one. Uh, so I do own two of them now. I am a fan of them. They're lighter. They, to me, cut better. Uh, 
easier to put on the trailer, easier to move around a yard. Though, when coming up a steep hill, that will I'll climb that any day of the week. That mower will climb straight up a hill. I don't have a hill to demonstrate it on here, but it's a hill climbing mower. So, good mower, better mower. And I, again, I'm sorry for the wind. Um, it's just the way it is here. And uh, there we go. Now I'm going to get to uh, cutting the rest of my grass with my Toro.